What is going on you savages? Welcome back to another WWE News and Rumors Roundup. This is episode 187, keeping you guys up to date on all the latest. As always, brought to you guys by WrestleCrate and also HOG Wrestling. More info down in the description below. So because we cover a lot of news this week, this episode is going to end up being shorter than usual. But we still got some interesting stories to discuss, so let's get right to it. Starting off with some backstage news in regards to the SmackDown Invasion angle that happened on Monday night. Raw, as PW Insider is reporting that SmackDown Invasion took place on this week episode of Monday Night Raw was actually taped earlier in the day on Monday. WWE officials instructed talent to make the attack look as brutal as possible to make the segment look more realistic. WWE ended up having to retape one of the shoots because one of the WWE superstars threw a working punch that wasn't good enough for television so it didn't look brutal enough so they ended up doing it again. As previously reported there will be two 5-on-5 five five traditional elimination Raw vs SmackDown matches at the event and all the other matches will also be Raw vs SmackDown but it will be Champion vs Champion. So very interesting that they actually taped it and it's probably one of the reasons why it actually looked so brutal and it was so well done. Now we just gotta wait for that Monday Night Raw attack that's gonna be happening right? Cause it will be happening soon. As I reported it will more than likely go down on the go home show of SmackDown Live right before for Survivor Series. Sticking with Survivor Series, Dave Meltzer reported that Roman Reigns is going to be named the team captain of Monday Night Raw at Survivor Series. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose are already scheduled to face the Uso at the event, so the Shield reunion match is officially going to take more time to happen. So it will more than likely happen after Survivor Series. As of this writing, only Randy Orton is officially in the traditional Survivor Series match between Raw and SmackDown, and of course, within the next following weeks, more superstar is scheduled to be announced for the match. Do keep in mind that this is just a speculation at the moment because we were also getting reports that Roman Reigns might be kept up television if he's not clear by next Monday because apparently next Monday they're gonna be doing testing to those that were sick to see if they're gonna be able to return. So that is currently pending. Moving on to some other news which you guys might have noticed during this week 205 Live. If you do watch 205 Live on the network that is so nonetheless never was removed from the opening of WWE 205 Live, which could be an update on things to come, meaning that chances are that he is not returning to the company. At this point, we're just waiting for the WWE to make the announcement official that Neville is released from the company or that he asked to be released from the company. So it looks like the rumors were true and it looks like he definitely walked out. Unless, of course, WWE is playing with us. Moving on to some other news, according to PW Insider, WWE is planning on running a major show for the January 20th two episodes of Monday Night Raw at the Barclays Center because it is a Monday Night Raw 25th anniversary. There's also rumor that they're pulling all strings for this show, meaning that they're probably gonna be calling a lot of legends to appear at the show. So we might be able to see a Ric Flair, maybe a Stone Cold Steve Austin, maybe a Shawn Michaels. Again, extra guests to the show to make it feel much more special and like a celebration of it. It is also being indicated that they will be doing a special DVD for it. So definitely expect a lot of legends to be appearing on that show. And the last piece of news that I got for you guys is in regards to Vince McMahon reportedly shooting down a Bullet Club reunion. Pro Wrestling She reports that one of the ideas WWE pitched for a replacement at Sunday's TLC event was to have a Bullet Club reunion featuring AJ Styles, Finn Balor, Kara Anderson and Lou Gallows to take on a team of four other wrestlers. Apparently Vince McMahon wasn't a fan of this idea and shot down the idea. Which is unfortunate because I would have loved to see that. As previously reported, Chris Jericho was another idea of any pitch to replace Bray Wyatt at the event and go against Finn Balor. But back to the story at hand, very unfortunate that it didn't happen, but at least we got the two sweet from Finn Balor and AJ Styles at the end of their match. Definitely a moment to remember. Nonetheless, you savages, that is what I got for you guys for this WWE News and Rumors Roundup. If you guys found this informative, make sure that you guys elbow drop that like button to be fully up to date on much more news and rumors subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications you savages we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers i'm going to see you dig it